I want to explain how characters are used on computers and then it kind of demonstrate how you can work with characters based on their ASCII codes. And I'm going to do this using the ROT13.5 and I'm going to just encrypt a single character using ROT13.5. So I'm going to, this is ROT13.5. And the way it works is all letters are rotated 13 characters or 13 places. And then all digits are rotated, well, five places, all right? So zero will become five, five will become zero. So you can encrypt and decrypt using the exact same algorithm. But we're just gonna do a single character. So first I'm gonna do a char for a character. And I will call this my um, my unencrypted or my plain text, my plain text character. I also want to have a char, which is my encrypted one. So I'll call that cipher. So two characters right there. And I'm going to read in my plain text and then export my cipher. And you could then do the same thing with... Um, taking the cipher and convert it back to plain text using the same thing. But we'll start by prompting the user. So I'll do standard C out and I'll say, give me a character to encrypt. And then I will end the line here. And I will read in my plain text character. So I'll do CD CN into my plane. All right. Now we're facing a problem. Our plain text character has to loop around. And we have to figure out if this is even a letter or a digit. So how do we do that? Well, there are two different kinds of letters. There are capital letters and lowercase letters. And there are well, only one kind of digits, there's just regular digits. But then there's ones that are close to the end of the alphabet for letters. And then there are digits that are close to the end that are loop over. So how do we deal with this? Well, first of all, let's figure out this for capital letters. There are functions you can use like is alpha or is upper and things like that, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go strictly with just using these things and processing them like numbers. So first of all, if we are in a situation where our letter is capital letter, we need to know that for sure. So I'll do an if, and then my plain text is less than, well, let's see, greater than or equal to a capital A, and put that in single quotes, and plain is less than or equal to a capital Z, then we know we have a capital letter. We can do an else if statement here, else if plain is greater than or equal to lowercase a and plain is less than or equal to lowercase z. We'll do the next thing and then we'll do else if plain is greater than or equal to now this is interesting because we're not using the number zero we're going to use the letter zero which is different than the number zero because once again we're dealing with characters here okay so plain is less than or equal to nine then we will do this Otherwise, we're just going to export it and say that our cipher equals our plane. So we're not going to encrypt it at all. Okay, so let's go to this first one, the first case. Now, the problem we have is that the letter A is not a value of zero. It has a numerical value, and the numerical value is important here. The capital letter A 
in the ASCII table actually has a value of 65. The lowercase a has a value of 97. So we want to subtract that, loop it around, and then put the letter back into the right range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my number. So I'll have another, maybe an integer number. Actually, no, I, can, I don't need to save it because I know which one it is. So I'll do plain minus or maybe plain equals or maybe cipher. Cipher equals my plain, whatever the plain letter is. And we want to subtract whatever a capital A is. So if we are taking a capital A and subtracting a capital A from it, we're going to get the number zero. If we take a capital Z and we subtract a capital A from it, we're going to get 25. All right, so now we have a number. And then we want to add 13 to this number. And after we've added to the number 13, we want to make sure that we're still in range. Because if it was a capital Z and you subtract a capital a off of it, you have 25, 25 plus 13 is a high number. And so we want to do modular division and we want to make sure that we have back into our range of zero to 25. And then after we have that, well, we should be in the right place. And so we can convert that back to our number again. So I'll go ahead and put plus capital A. So that should encrypt it into the right range. So we can see how that works. We can do the exact same thing with the lowercase a. Copy that code and paste it right here and just switch all of our capitals to lowercase. So capital A and this becomes a lowercase a. Now we do a similar thing with digits because the cipher is going to be our plane and this one once again is our plane minus a lowercase or lower digit zero so we subtract that out and then we get zero and then we're going to take this and we're going to add five and then after we've added five we want to use modular division so modulus 10 because we want it to be in the range of 0 to 9 and then we take this whatever we have here and we add back our 0 character okay so this is how we convert these things now we want to display the output encrypted character and so we'll do std see out and we will say encrypt CRYPT encrypting and then we're going to have our character displayed right here as plain and a the single quote there encrypting plain into and then we will have our encrypted one cipher single quote here and then we have our end line All right, at this point, it should display encrypting some letter into some other letter. And we can go ahead and run this and make sure we are doing it correctly. So we run code. And let's try something. So I will try the number four, which should encrypt into nine. It says encrypting four into nine. So I run it again. And I'm going to give it this time the number nine. And it should encrypt into four. So that's good. It's looping around. Now we can try running the code with a 
well, let's try the letter um, D. Encrypts it into Q. So we should be able to convert from Q into D. Q, right here. And that converts into D. We should also be able to run the code with a lowercase letter. So let's do a lowercase Q. And it turns into lowercase D. And then we should run the code and check with a lowercase D, which should create encrypt into a lowercase Q. So from this, I hope you've learned that these letters are actually ASCII characters. They're kind of like integers, but they have some special value and they can convert into something else. And you need to treat them as letters as opposed to numbers. And then you can convert them back and forth and you can play with them this way.